Hey there again, everybody. Boyd back with you. Well, I'm here with a little update on our Monogram 50th Anniversary Lunar Landing Kit. This is uh, to commemorate the uh, 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. And uh, this is a really nice little kit. I've wanted to build this for quite a while. Um, this kit's been, you know, repopped several times out there. And right now, it's um, this is its uh, current release. You can get this kit actually right now at Hobby Lobby for 40% off. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these, uh, now would be a good time to grab one. And these are readily available. The kit comes with the gold foil that you need to detail the uh, the lem that you can see that I've started working on there. And one evening I got the, the, the whole bottom half of it pretty much built and painted and detailed with the foil and everything. They do give you the uh, gold foil with the kit. Um, something that I learned is that you want to wrinkle that all up really good before you apply it. And um, do it while it's on the backing paper and that way you don't have trouble, you know, unsticking it or whatever if you, if you crinkle it up too much. But you get this nice little base with it. Now I talked about um, how it came with uh, these weird impressions on the surface here of the actual shadow of the limb and the uh, figures and all the other objects on there. And I, you know, at first I was going to um, go ahead and uh, fill all those in and smooth it all out. But you know, I thought, well, you know what? Let me try to work with it a little bit and see what we come up with here. So. I did the black areas there of where the shadows are, and I'm really, it's it's really kind of growing on me. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, of course, when you look at it in a room with regular lighting coming straight down, you get, you know, another shadow breaking off of everything, which looks kind of strange. But I think when I take my photographs of this at the very end, when I do some lighting at the right angle and everything, it'll look really neat. But um, the limb itself is a really nice little model. I'm really happy with it. It's got a lot of detail on it. It's fitting together really good. I haven't had any problem at all with any of that. And you got the nice little detailed figures here of, uh, I think this is Buzz Aldrin over here, and this is Neil Armstrong over here. And um, they they come pretty, you know, pretty detailed. You get the backpacks and everything. Uh, the only thing that I did to them is I added the little wire on the top of each of their backpacks for their antenna. Just made that out of some wire again and just kind of spruced them up a little bit. Um, I've got this, uh, to me, a transparent yellow here because I wanted to show it to you guys. If you decide that uh, you want to put extra foil on this, they give you just enough foil um, to do the areas around the edges and everything like that and around the legs and stuff. And there's a little bit more that goes on the top part of the limb. But if you want to add any foil like the, to cover the entire bottom of it like it's supposed to be, um, you can just use some regular you know, household uh, tin foil and paint it with this stuff here. Use your airbrush and it'll be an exact match for that. I, I found that out in a little bit of patchwork that I did. And then you can see on their uh, visors here, I used some uh, regular bare metal foil, and then I painted that with that Tamiya yellow, and it looks exactly like it's supposed to. And it matches uh, the foil that's on the, um, you know, on the limb really, really close. So you could be able to blend that right in and not even tell the difference. So that will work out for you if you decide to do that. Um, I'm not gonna be doing any kind of lighting on this or anything. I thought about doing a little bit of lights inside the limb, but uh, I'm just going to build it straight up as is. And uh, we took our little base here and we um, did a little bit of, you know, I started off with, with gray primer and then I went over it, dusted over a little bit with with uh, some uh, dark gray and some black. To paint those shadows, I just basically did all that by hand. Um, the big, huge part there for the limb, I basically made my, uh, took some flat black craft paint mixed it up really super thin and I just basically poured that into the center and then I just kind of really carefully let the thing, you know, I kind of rocked it around and let the, the paint flow into most of the little areas and then it kind of went up over the sides in a few spots and all I had to do is go go back and touch that up. But that, that method worked out really, really good. So yeah, I, I figured I'd better give you guys a little update before I got too far along on this. This build will probably be done in one more segment here. Just have to build the top half of the limb and then, uh, finish off with all the little detail that goes on the surface you got the flag and one thing that i think is really neat about this kit too is that they were they did their homework on the um the actual experiments that they have out on the ground here uh i just i've been watching a couple of old uh documentaries about the uh apollo 11 mission and they've got all the exact uh you know little experiments that they took with them on that first mission they've got a little size seismometer and they've got a little um reflector that they put on the ground that reflects laser back and that's actually still functioning they use that to measure the distance they can reflect a laser beam from earth and hit that 
and then get an exact measurement on you know how far at a given time the moon is away from the earth and how fast both of them are rotating and things like that so that experiment's actually still working and they did a couple others some um uh, I think they were checking for radioactivity and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, everything is really accurate as far as that goes. I did a nice little wash on the um, on the uh, astronauts' suits there. They got really super dirty. As The minute they went outside, um, one of the comments was it looked like they'd been walking around in a, in a coal mine or whatever. Um, so we dirted them up pretty good, put a little bit of detail on them. You get the nice little... Uh, decals for their shoulder patches and on the back of their backpacks there so they thought of that little detail we got some de uh, decals that also went on the limb there so yeah everything's working out really good you guys um, this is a really fun little kit to work on and um, when we finish this one up we'll be back getting started on something else I've got a, about another month and a half or maybe two months here before I get crank up the uh, the paid work that I've got to get going but um, so I plan on knocking out, a, you know, quite a few kits between now and then. So uh, a lot for you guys to uh, be able to check out here on the channel. I think we're going to be building the um, the new Grissom kit next after this one. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, that's, a, that's a neat little ship, and the new model kit from Round 2 looks like it's going to be really nice. It's in 1,350 scale, so it fits in with a lot of the other stuff that we have. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I'm uh, really happy with how things are coming out so far, and... Um, Hope you guys enjoyed seeing it so far. I'll be back probably in the next segment. It'll be pretty much done, and I'll kind of talk about some other stuff I had to do. We got a little bit of um, paint work we got to do on the top half of the limb. There's quite a few, uh, you know, the, the overall limb on the top is silver, and then there's some flat black panels that need to be painted on that. So, uh, and a little bit of a little bit more foil work, but uh, we'll get that all taken care of. And this should this should turn out pretty cool. All right, you guys. Well. Uh, just a short little update here, and we'll see you again in the next couple days, maybe towards the weekend, and I should have this thing all wrapped up. Take care out there, and uh, happy modeling, guys. We'll see you later.